Did you know that you could ski in Hungary? I bet you did, but I bet you didn't know that you can make a day trip of it from Budapest. In this video, I'll show you one of my favorite ski resorts in Hungary and I'll show you what's on offer and I'll tell you how to get here from Budapest. I'm in Matra Szent Imre in the Matra Hills in Hungary. Matra Szent Imre is actually a little village and it's a collection of six other little villages and technically the one we're in now is called Matra Szent István. That's where the ski park is. To get to the Matra Szent István ski park by bus from Budapest, go to Stadion coach station. The coach takes about two and a half hours. You may need to change at Gyöngyös. The scenery gets better and better as soon as the bus leaves Gyöngyös and you enter the Matra Hills. On the way home, if the bus times from the ski park are too early for you, you can catch a slightly later bus from about one kilometer down the road at the stop called Matra Szent Istváni Elágazás. If you come to this ski park from Budapest by bus, then this is where you get off the bus. And you can see from here, the ski park is just over there where that big brown sign is and people are just crossing the road. When you get off here at this bus stop, you're at the top of the ski slopes and the ski hire is here and this is where you can buy your ski pass as well. You also need to pay a 1000 forint deposit in cash for the plastic card, which is the ski pass, so make sure you bring some cash. This is where you hire the skiing and snowboarding equipment. Um, it says Schikol Chenzu and this place is right by or right after where you buy the tickets. And they got a snowboard today and a pair of skis. It costs 26,000 forints to hire a snowboard and a pair of skis. You don't need to pay a deposit here for the hire, but you do need to show a photo ID. Try to come early if you can because you can expect some queues here. It's not too bad, but there are some queues usually. So we just got a key for the lockers down here. The lockers are at the bottom of the hütte, uh, right by the toilet. Another advantage of arriving early at the ski park is that you can get one of the lockers. There are only a few lockers available, but we were early enough today. And again, even for the lockers, you need a 5,000 forint deposit, payable only in cash. So again, bring cash, otherwise you're in trouble. <laughs> because there's no cash machines anywhere near here. There's actually one in the other village, but uh, today is Saturday and it's closed because the, it's not really a cash machine. It's like a, a cash point sort of thing within the post office. So it's closed today. So we literally just used our last 5,000 forint note. Hopefully we won't need any more cash for anything else today. I've got a terrible feeling that when we go back, we will need cash for the bus, but we'll see, <laughs> we'll find out. But if you're unlucky enough for all the lockers to have gone by the time you get here, I've seen lots of people just hang their rucksacks in various places on fences and ski racks like these ones here. Uh, I've done that before myself and uh, it's safe enough. Like I wouldn't leave any real valuables in there but I think it's safe enough. Oh my god look someone's brought an actual Hungarian traditional woven basket like a picnic basket so I think it's so cute look at this how cute is that it's got lace on it and all <laughs> I love it I possibly haven't chosen the best day for skiing it's really windy it was raining earlier what's that noise Squirrels. Is that something wrong? Squirrels. Really? Yeah. No, seriously, what is that? Is that someone falling or what? It's restarting. Oh, okay. I possibly haven't chosen the best day for skiing, but hey, we're here now. It was raining earlier, there was a little bit of sleet. It's really, really windy now. I really hope that you can hear what I'm saying because it's very windy. I'm hiding my microphone in there. There's sleet, there's sleet blowing at me right now. I think it's leaking again now. If you've seen my ice skating video, which I'll link in the description, then you know that I like to have a lesson every now and then to improve my skills, may that be skating or skiing today. And I've booked a lesson and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I'm not very good at ice skating. I'm a little bit better at skiing, I'd say, but we'll see. But let's do a bit of skiing.
you thought that my skiing instructor was crazy because of his attire, I can assure you he wasn't. He was wearing fancy dress because it's Hungarian carnival today, Farshong, and people wear fancy dress. He wasn't the only instructor in fancy dress today and a lot of the staff were wearing costumes as well. It was really funny. <laughs> Elmondjátok, elmondjátok csak egy szóval, hogy ki micsoda? Hát a Youtube-ra lesz, igen. igen. De az, az, én csatorn az én csatornám csak száz követő van, úgyhogy senki nem fogja megnézni. A tesztelés lehet, hogy ki kell vágnom, de elmondjátok, hogy ki mi csoda? Nyuszi van egy nyuszi. Egy manó. Havai táncos és. És. És ádika. Ne. Egy farkas, nem? Farkas, ó, oh, nagyon jó. Nagyon jó. Munkánk tudja mozgatni a farkát. Oké, nagyon jó. Ez nagyon jó köszönöm. És akkor egy már ott kinyúlt, jól látom, hogy annak már annyi lett, az már nem jutott tovább. Á, ah, jó, igen, igen, láttam korábban. Nagyon szépen köszönöm. Köszönöm. Nagyon. annyira. És nagyon tud Nem csak. Nem köszi, csak annyit mondanék, hogy nagyon köszönjük, nagyon, nagyon jó nap volt, mindig nagyon jó itt, de a jelmez az még jobban feldobta. Nagyon jó ötlet volt, csináljátok megint, ha még eddig nem csináltatok, szuper volt. És ha van lehetőség, akkor jövőre gyertek el is. Mindig jövünk. Jövőre szint leszek. Oké, és nagyon szépen köszönöm, és boldog farságot nektek, sziasztok! I've just finished my lesson. It was absolutely fantastic. I really enjoyed it. Time for a quick lunch break now. The restaurant is in the Hütte. The menu has Hungarian staples such as brasoi, but they also feature Slovakian dishes such as trapacska or sauerkraut soup. There are also some Austrian dishes, such as gőzgombot, germknödel, which is steamed dumpling with poppy seeds on top and plum jam inside. We got schnitzel with chips, and we got a um, futuros trapacska, which is a Hungarian dish. It basically has kind of fresh noodles, freshly made egg, egg noodles, uh, sour cream um, and used cheese, um, fresh cheese, red onions and lardons basically. I think there was not one vegetarian dish to choose from and we were not allowed to buy just the sides on their own and all the mains had meat in them. Um, so it's really misty, it's actually really cold as well. You can probably see I've got really red cheeks already from the wind. But it's pretty cool to be here. I, I love this ski resort. This um, ski resort is quite small. It only has about four kilometers of piste, but that's really plenty for me, to be honest. There are two black slopes. There's only one open today. Not that I'm interested. You'll never see me going on a black slope, at least not for the time being. There are two red ones and there are a couple of blue ones. And there is a, a practice area for absolute beginners. They even have skiing on some nights. And there are also a couple of types of lifts. There's a four-seater chairlift. There are several T-bars. There's a bottom lift. I think it's really pretty good, to be honest. So here's a T-bar. Can I get on it now? See, I just can't see anything. Visibility is already so low, but it's actually really an issue for me now with my glasses on, because like I double can't see. <laughs> So I've really got to put my faith into there being a piece in front of me because I can't really see the edges. It's probably not the safest. Okay, well, let's get on this. Let's get on this T-bar and let's go on the, on the next slope.
visibility is really low now and in this video if you constantly seeing me in one shot having my glasses off and in another shot having my glasses on that's because I can barely see through my glasses so when I'm not moving when I'm not skiing I just have to take them off look at that look at that fog that sleet So Matra Santimbra is now this administrative unit containing these, containing these six villages, but Matra Santimbra itself is a village out of those six villages. And this administrative unit, Matra Santimbra, is the highest Hungarian settlement, but Goyotetu being the highest of the six villages. And the, the, the village, these six villages, uh, are anywhere between 750 meters to 835 meters high. And it's really, really, really fleeting now. By the way, if you're hearing a lot of noise around me, there's actually a Hungarian National Snowboard Championship going on today. It's so misty today, it's just crazy. There was sleet a minute ago, but that stopped now. There are also snow cannons here. They can make their own snow. Here's one right by me and they have snow plows, obviously. And behind me here, the village you can see is one of these six villages that I mentioned earlier and that's Matra St. Laszlo behind me. But very cute, quaint little villages. I really love this area, but I can't uh, stand around for too long. It's pretty cold, so let's get on a let's get on the chairlift. This thing below us is actually a slope and this is a black slope uh, but it's closed today because obviously there's just not enough snow. If you've seen my chairlift video then you know that I have a thing for chairlifts. I really love how calm and quiet things are up here and I'm just really enjoying that right now despite the bad weather. I hope you enjoyed this video about the ski park in Matra St. Istvan and I hope you're as amazed as I was that you can make this a day trip from Budapest. If you've been encouraged to make this trip uh, after watching this video, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!